Hi, I'm DJ Shears. I'm Professor E, and this is Six. And this is the robot program. In this episode, we're going to teach you how to build your Revolution Six. Let's go to the studio and learn how. We're going to show you how to build your Revolution Six robot. What should we start with? We're going to start with the software. Start with the software. Always okay. a good place to start. Okay. So on your computer, you're going to want to load up your web browser and visit www.easy-robot.com and you're going to click on the software tab. Choose Download Easy Builder and wait while it downloads. Click and select to load the MSI file that downloads and follow through with Next. Choose Typical for your install type. Install. Choose Finish. And the software will load and it'll walk us through a Get You Started guide. This is the exact same guide you would have got in the package of your Six robot, which of course you can verify and review in the software. Choose I Agree to the Terms and click OK. And your software is going to load, but it's going to ask your credentials. You have to type in your username and password that you got when you bought the robot. Otherwise, you can click Create Account and Create One. So I already have one, so I'm going to type that in here. And my password. Click Save. And it's going to pop up a box and say, you've been verified. Now, here we can enroll in Easy Robot School to learn more about how to put the robot together, as well as you can, of course, watch us on the robot program, and we'll show you how to do it as well. So if I just select six from the school, it'll bring you right to the six guide. You can follow this as well if you want to read how to, to put the robot together. Now, the first thing it's going to ask you to do is going to say you need your Easy Bit Library synced. All of the parts that Easy Robot uses are 3D printable as well as are injection molded. So the ones you bought came from our injection molded machine and you can 3D print them if you want as well. So in order for the software to know, teach you how to put the robot together, you need to download all of those components to the computer. So push the sync button and it'll download all the parts. Now that the parts have been downloaded, it's gonna ask you if you wanna see how to put the robot together. We're gonna to choose yes. and click the arrow button to begin the process. Okay, we need the body of the robot. Can you pass me that? Okay, so our hexapod body here. You got it. Here it is, and now we're gonna need the robot controller, and we're gonna insert that into the body. It's gonna pressure fit inside. And now we're gonna push the next button on our software. See the next thing we need to add. Okay, it wants us to add a lever servo to port D0. Can you pass me a lever servo? There we go. So you're gonna have 12 lever servos. You don't have to be confused at which one's a lever servo, which one isn't. And as you can see by the picture, we're gonna to wanna to attach it right there. So we're treating his body just like it were a clock. So this is at the one o'clock position. That's right. And we'll unwrap the wire here. Now, when I clicked it in, I pushed it so it's all the way up as far as it can go. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you do that as well. And you're gonna see that it's asking me to connect this to port D0. So we're gonna grab this wire. And we're going to have to locate D0 on a robot controller. So let's grab the Getting Started Guide and take a look. And you'll see in the Getting Started Guide, it tells you where the different ports are. As well in the software, you can see it says D0. So if I choose D0, which it wants me to connect to, it's the very first port on the EZB. And I connect the wire, ensure that the black line, black wire, is in alignment with the black on the EZB. So we want to match the colors. That's right. Now these cables are a male to female connection. Uh, that means that we have a protruding portion that connects into a, a hole or a socket, and this allows us to have a more secure connection for the robot. Now that we've connected the first servo, we'll click next to the, see the next one. All right, we need another servo. Another servo, another okay. Servo. Okay, in the picture, you can see here, that's shown on the, in the screen, that there is an al a line here and you can see that the bracket here, so there's an orientation that it's expecting us to set this up. And it's not that way, it is this way. And we'll unwrap our wire. Now the wire is underneath in this one, 
So we're going to want it on top. Let's push this through and pull it out here. And it wants us to plug it into port D1. So that's the next one from D0. Right there. And we'll click next. And it wants a leg. Okay, servo peg. Okay, this is our peg. Here we go. So again, we got the robot facing this way. This is going to be one of the leg hexapods. So we're going to slide that in here and clip it into place. Okay, another servo, port D3. And this is at 11 o'clock. So again, we will push nice and hard. If it doesn't go in all the way, we're going to rock it back and forth and push the rest of the way. Oh, so it really snaps into place there. You got it. You're going to want all the servos to be level, otherwise it's going to walk lopsided. And this one goes into port D3. So not D2, which means we're not going to go to the D second one. We're going to skip one and go into D3. Okay, so we've got one empty port between the two legs so far. You bet it. Okay, one more servo, and we're going to One more this. servo. Again, there's an orientation, and it looks like, same, the black faces on here, and the white is on this side. White on the left. Oh, look, this one also needs to, wire needs to go through. Okay, so we push it from underneath, push it through. Pull it up. And this connects to port D4. So that's right after D3. And again, we can see that all the black wires are lined up on the same side. Mm -hmm. Next, another hexapod foot. Another foot. Okay, let's plug this guy into here. Ooh, it's starting to look, look really interesting. Okay, another servo. Another I think, servo. I think we're going to be doing a lot of servos. I think for this we better robot. repeat the process. Okay, so again, it's going to be pointing upwards, push it in around and give it a nice snug tight fit and this wants to go into port d6 so d6 means that we're gonna this is five and that's gonna be six we're gonna skip one again there's gonna be one empty space between the last two we did you, you got it I guess you guessed it right it's gonna be another servo so another servo this one is uh, gonna be d7 so we'll plug this connect this one here and this wire is already coming out on top, that's good news. And D7, D7 is right after D6. So put that right in there. there now, if my uh, calculations are correct, we're gonna need another foot. <laughs> you got it. Let's see, your calculations were correct. We are creatures of habit. Following a pattern. That's right, let's get this in there. There we go, okay. Next up. Next leg. Yeah. D9. And this is at 7 o'clock. So 1 o'clock, 11, 9 o'clock. Here's our 7 o'clock rock. Let's throw this in there. And click that right in. Click it all the way through. Yeah. There we go. Just give it one more little push and make sure it's, yep. You heard it click in. So it's in there now. Unwrap this. And it wants it D9. So we can look here. To make sure that I find my D9. So we're skipping one again. Yeah, we're going to skip one. We're going to go right there. One space between, one wire between. Okay, next up. D10. Let's see here. And the same, we pay attention to the white on this side. So all the white lines are lining up as we go around. They're all on the left-hand side of each servo. We'll slide this wire through to make sure that we get through, and this goes to D10. So we want to put that right there. And you want to make sure when you connect these in, you don't bend a pin by accidentally connecting it, say, sideways like this. You want to make sure you get all three of them in there. Perfect. You can guess what's coming up next? I think we need a foot. Oh, you win again. Another foot. I'm getting good at this. You are good at this. That's why they call you Professor E. That's right. Okay, another servo. Another servo. Oh, come on, chop, chop. Oh. Yeah. Okay, this is uh, D12, and it's going to be 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock. So you can see that we've skipped one connection in between. You got so it. So we can spread them out. So there's no 6 o'clock rock. 
It's no six o'clock. o'clock. It's five o'clock party time all the time. And we'll wrap this around. And this wants to go to D12. So again, we skip this one and we jump right to D12. So D12 is actually along the bottom. And, well, look, he's standing by himself now. Oh, starting to take shape. That's right. And he's still missing two legs. So the next one that we're going to attach here is D13. D13. And again. We're going to need a foot. Oh, you're moving quicker than me here. Oh, you told me chop chop. <laughs> yeah. Always be careful what you wish for. Let's get this in here. There we go. So that's D13. All right. Chop chop. What do we chop, got? Chop chop. Okay. Click chop, the next chop. button. This is the... All right. Click the next button. I skipped a step. There we go. There's the foot. Foot for five o'clock. Okay. And the next one. Last one, which is good because we only have two servos left. Last leg. Okay. So this is going to go in here. This is a three o'clock. Again, we'll get this all the way in here. And this is going to connect to D15. So again, we skip one and D15. I see it there. It's nice in the software that it shows you where to connect it rather than just giving you the, the number, you know, by actually showing you the green. That's friendly. Okay, now D16 is the last one. And same orientation. Looks like the white is still on. White still on the outside here. You got it. Oh, tie this wire through. And this one goes to D16. There we go. No, all the pins are connected. And it doesn't look like anything is missing. No, oh, they all look like they're in there, nice and solid. Okay, so let's push next. And you got it. Another foot. Last foot. Last foot. Okay. Okay, so the robot's built, it's all put together. We're missing a few more pieces, but there's something we have to do, or we should do at least, before we put the robot together entirely, and that is clean up this spaghetti monster. My favorite part. <laughs> you got it. All okay, right. so we've got our wire wraps here. We just need one, and now this is a wire wrap. As you can see, when you spread it apart like this and twist it, it'll open up and it allows you to wrap it around wires. So we're gonna wrap one of these around two wires, so one pair of wires per leg. We're going to start at the base by the easy B and just wrap it around like so and then just start going like this. Dun, 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 dun. Wrapping wires, building robots. Mm -hmm. We need a theme song for doing this. For wire wrapping? Our yeah. own wire wrapping song? You got it. I can make one up. Should you make it a wrap? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Was that in the script? No. <laughs> nice. That's good. All right. There we go. I'm going to check these plugs to make sure that we didn't loosen any of them up while we wire wrapped. Everything looks good to go. Good. So now everything's nice and contained. His wires aren't going to get in his way as he tries to walk. You can see that there's enough, enough space here for the servos to move without it trying to pull. Good. So just like we have to move our elbows, he can still move his knees. Knees? Yeah. There's his knees? Yeah. Hexapod knees. Hexapod knees. Let's push next on our software. See what comes up. Okay, it wants us to put the dome on. Now, dome. yes, but we are going to want to connect the camera after the dome. I know this. So why don't you pass me the camera so I can connect it to the controller, and then you'll pass me the dome, and we'll click it all together. Okay, so you're just doing the cable right now. That's right, just the cable, because the cable will go on top of the dome. Now, as you can see with this wire, this has a plug on the end of it, of the, of the camera, and you look on the controller, there's only one place that this wire can go to. And there's little lines here that prevent you from plugging it in upside down as well. This is a slightly larger male to female connection, but it'll be That's nice right. and secure. It will be nice and secure. Can we tight fit to fit in there? Give it a good push. Make sure that it's in. All right. Now we'll follow our software and it'll pass me the dome. Okay, so this makes up the first part of his head, but we call it a dome. You bet. So the front of the robot is where the logo on the controller points, and that is your 12 o'clock. We are going to take the dome 
and we're going to put it on just like the software with this line facing the same direction as the as the controller. Now all these wires are going to want to come out somewhere in this indent here. So we don't care where they come out? We don't, as long as they come out, they're not, you don't want this one to come out way over here. You want it to come out under closest to the servos itself. So we'll just bind it around and insert these tabs into the controller, or into the body, sorry. And once you get them all in, just push down and it'll click into place. And now all of the wires are held in there. Perfect. Now we got a camera just hanging here. So let's push the next button because that's going to tell us where to put the camera. Okay. So the camera is going to say it wants to slide this way because that's the front of the robot. And now we can easily identify which way the robot's going to walk when we tell it to move. So you push that one right in and if you want to check your connection, you can see it on the Easy Builder. You got it. So let's do that. Let's click next again to make sure we got everything. It says we're done. Completed. So now we can use the view button and we can look around at the robot in different directions to make sure that we built it just like the software shows. We can push close and it'll return us back to our software. Great. That's right. So in a future episode, we're going to show you how to connect to your robot and how to bring it to life. Let's review what we learned in today's episode. To build six, the first thing you're going to do is identify 12 o'clock. That will be where he faces forward. Each of his legs connects at 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. Once you've built all of his six legs, you're then going to wrap your wires, which helps us keep any of the cables out of his way when he then starts to move. Before you put the dome on, it's a good idea to connect your camera first and then we pop in the dome, listen for that click, and slide on the camera. You want to make sure that all of your connections are nice and tight and that six is standing evenly. Thanks for watching this episode and we'll see you next time. Sixist cables are what type of connection? What is the label of the first digital port? Why is wire wrapping a good idea? Find the answers at therobotprogram.com